Hi, this is Kat with Bita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Bright Renewal Necklace. Now, this necklace is going to feature some beautiful gemstone chain, and I have this chain here that has these beautiful little gems and these little palettes here. These are kind of like little connectors. So this is just a really beautiful chain, so we're going to use this. And then I also have a moth connector pendant, and this is from the Renewal Collection from Tierra Cast. You can just see that it has a little hole there at the very bottom, and it kind of has that space up at the top that we can utilize if we want. And then it has these two little holes on the side, so that's where we're going to be connecting our chain. Now, the only other things that you're going to need is I have a couple of head pins here that I'm going to use with some scattered little gemstones, and then I have some jump rings and a lobster clasp. So for tools, what you're going to need is just a couple pairs of chain nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, and a pair of flush cutters. So if you have everything ready to go, let's get started. So coming to find one end of my chain here. Now this is where I have one little extra gemstone you can see is because I had one little guy here at the very end. Now we do sell our gemstone chain by the inch, but you can see that if you were to sell it by the inch, you might get a piece or you might not. So when you want to purchase, let's say you're thinking about making a necklace that is about 18 inches, what I would suggest you do is to buy at least 20 inches. What that allows you to do is you can see here on one end, it ends with one of those pieces, but over here, I'm going to have some extra length. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to line up these two, pretending I'm going to cut that off. You really want to make sure before you do any cutting that it's going to work out the way you want it to. So by doing it this way, you'll see that I have my two there and I match two more, two more, two more, and two more. But here you can notice that I'll get four little gemstones on each side. So I can actually use this tiny little white gemstone here, right where my finger is, as the center if I wanted to start and place the gemstone chain right on the edge there onto my piece. Alternatively, what you could do is you could make it so that this starts right off of the piece there. So you do have a couple of options. I'm going to do it the other way, the first way that I kind of talked about. So I'm going to come through, I'm just going to line this up here at the end, making sure everything is where I want it to be. There we go, one, two, and three, and four, and there we go. All right, so now for this one, this is the white bead that is going to kind of come off here. So when you go to clip your gemstone, off, you want to make sure that you're clipping the right loop because we want to keep the other loops intact. So just remember, for the one that's on this orange one, on this side, we want to keep that fully intact, just like that. So now we're going to come to this side here and carefully, again, clipping off the loop of that white gemstone. Now, I have a gemstone here that has no more loops, so he's not totally useless, though. I'm going to finish this off here by trimming that little wire there, and I'm gonna kinda add him to my pile. So I think I can use that a little bit later. Okay, so now, very simply, I have both of my chains coming out like this, and now I can just attach this using a couple of little jump rings. So this is where those two pairs of chain nose pliers are going to come in handy. And I wanted to use really nice and tiny gemstones here. I'm using four millimeter 20 gauge jump rings because I want them to be strong enough to sit through this little hoop here, but not too big that they're not gonna fit here nicely. So I thought that would be perfect. There we go. We want it to be nice and strong. This pendant is, uh, it's weighty. It's not super heavy, I'd say, but it's definitely got some weight to it. All right, and we're just gonna repeat that on the other side by opening up that little jump ring, slipping it in to our pendant here, and closing this up. There we go. All right, so now we have the first part of our necklace going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of flip it around because we're gonna to start to work on the back portion here. So now when you come to this side here, I think I want to cut off this entire length of gemstone chain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and just snip that off. 
perfect. And because I had to cut this last little loop here, I'm gonna cut off this last little yellow piece. So I have a little chain there of three. I'm gonna come in and just remove this. There we go. So now I have three little beads there. Now, you'll notice that this probably came from just the way it was cut. So we lost a little gemstone there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna nip that off again while keeping the other piece intact. Now you can save this little trio, you can use it for something, um, but we can also do something a little bit later with it. But before we move on to utilizing that, I'm gonna come here to the end. So this is the end of my necklace and I'm going to need a couple of jump rings and this is where we are going to attach our clasp. So go ahead and come in. We're just gonna open up some jump rings. You can also make your own gemstone chain as well. I just wanna put that out there to you if that feels good for you. We have a video showing you exactly how to do that with wire and your favorite gemstones. All right, and then we're gonna come here and we're just gonna open up this last little jump ring and this will be the other side of our clasps clasp, excuse me. So we just need to close this up and then our uh, lobster clasp has something to attach to on this side. But let's head back to our piece here at the bottom and we have a couple of options when it comes to finishing this piece. Now we have this little length here so we can always add that to the bottom with just a couple of jump rings and then we have some head pins here and we can put those there so we can finish it off completely so we can create a full little sort of tail to our moth if you will. You can also do it where you just add one little loop here and we can add just one little gemstone there at the bottom. So you have a couple of options. You can also load up your head pin with three. You can kind of make it a little, a little trio down there at the bottom. So you do have many, many options when it comes to it, but really the basic techniques are gonna be simple wire loop or wrapped wire loop. So what I'd like to do here is let's go ahead and take one of our eye pins here, or excuse me, one of our head pins rather, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little wrapped wire loop. So go ahead and pinch it right above there. I'm gonna bend that backwards, wrap it up and over the top, bring it across. And now I'm just gonna grab it with my other chain nose pliers there and just kind of create a cute little wrapped wire loop, just like so. And now I'm gonna come in with my flush cutters and snip that off, there we go. And if you need to, you can take your chain nose pliers and just sort of pinch that in. All right, so now I have my cute little wrapped wire loop there that I think will look really nicely at the bottom. So just to finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead and take a jump ring and open that up, slip on my wrapped wire loop and slip it on to the end piece here. And I'm gonna sneak my pliers in there and give that a nice good closure. We don't want that little dangle to go anywhere. All right, so there it is. We have our little wrapped wire loop hanging from the ends of our chain. And of course we have it finished on the other side with our uh, lobster clasp. There we go, I'm trying to flip it around so you can see everything in frame there. So we have a beautiful little necklace and you can also use this in other projects or whatever you like. You can create some beautiful earrings with that, whatever you like. So be sure to save your little scraps from using gemstone chain. So this was the Bright Renewal Necklace. Thank you so much for joining me. You can get all of these items by heading over to beadaholic.com. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below to get all the latest from Beadaholic.